area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Good motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster You already know what it is, man Salute to the subscribers, that notification game Mr. Click and Blend, follow me on Instagram Vida underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi Salute to every single one of y'all that watches this content Whether religiously or in passing Make sure you hit the subscribe To stay in tune with all the latest content So, Hollow the Don versus Rum Nitty Goes down yesterday And to be honest with you guys A lot of y'all are gonna be like Oh, I feel this happened. Oh, I feel like that happened. This person should have won because of this and that. And y'all gonna have your own opinions. I'm cool with that. Battle rap is an opinionated sport. This is a battle that Rum Nitty had wanted for a couple years. He had been talking sh to Hollow. Hollow hadn't been on URL in a one on one battle in quite some time. He did some two on two. Uh, the last time a lot of people seen him was the mass performance. And they battling on the West Coast. A lot of intangibles go into it. I'm gonna be honest with you. This battle overall was maybe a six and a half. Just, just so when you ex don't expect no fireworks, don't expect me to be wilding all through the recap. I don't. There's not a lot of when you start rapping. There's not a lot of that in here. I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? Like I've seen dominant performances versus other opponents. Uh, Rum Nitty did better in probably all his tournament battles. Hollow the Don did better in a lot of other battles. It's like they brought just okay. Like, it was just okay. I, I, after the first two rounds, I kind of was like, what am I watching? Like, really, realistically, I did not know what I was watching. I do have Rum Nitty winning the battle 1-0 in the third. I tell you why. I felt like, you know, in the third, I don't know who won. I, I don't know. Like, I just don't, like... The crowd was not receiving none of Hollow's material. Like, his shit was not being received well at all. But, you battling Rum Nitty on the West Coast, and it's a building full of crips, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it, like what do you expect? You, like, it was crazy how most of the battles that happened before this one got mad reaction, mad love, mad cheers and jeers. This one right here got nut. like, it, it was weird to me. This is why I be thinking that some battles should happen before the last. Like just, just, just is like some. Sometimes when you have a battle like this, just throw that shit in the middle of the card rather than all the way at the end. I don't know if niggas was tired. I don't know what it was, but bro, the energy that was there during Kid Chaos versus Chess, that shit was nowhere to be found at the end. And I just only feel sorry for the reaction in the Ace I Mean versus Cortez. I don't know how that went down. Cortez did tell me that he won the 5,000. You better have won, because I told that nigga in that motherfucking blog yesterday, you you lose to this nigga, it's going to be bananas. You told me you got the bread, the reactions is you got the money, so that's cool. Um, Rum Nitty versus uh, versus the, this guy, I, I, I don't I don't know. I, I really do not know, like, to be honest with you. Uh... He had a, he, um, Hollow comes out in his first round, Dr. Kevorkian, my patience is gone, I'm an accordion, you playing with me wrong, I can no show bro in 3-0 in a one round, Ben Simmons, he said, Ben shooting like Ben Simmons, but you selling Tobias fans, I like that, uh, three, think Drake's barber cause I put my heart in the line. And then he flipped it, you know what I'm saying? Like he flipped it saying, you know, that, that I like the, the the way he flipped Rum Nitty's Drake Barber line. You're done done, 50 cent hun bun. Then he had C's up and C's up, C's up and she's up. Uh, Kool-Aid pitcher shots going through the wall. I liked, I like Hollow's material, I thought, I really thought his material would be received better. 
That's just me. I definitely thought his material was going to be received better. Nitty started his first with an angle. I was like, all right, whatever. Um, hollow tested and I went ballistic. I like that. When he got beat, it got bad. Remember that time he put the man in the mirror. Now that was fire. He got beat bad, Michael Jackson. Remember that time he put the man in the mirror. Uh, audit will be the only time we will have you losing on your return. That was fire. Uh, the drum stuff like Turkey Leg Hut, because Turkey Leg Hut be having the stuff, drums and shit like that. Uh, everybody point and make you the escape goat. Nigel, you look more like a Douglas. He started getting reaction like towards the end of his first round. Then Hollow comes out in his second round. Uh, I'm trying to give y'all room shakers, but I'm up here trying to shake rumors. I brought money to the ring for you like DiBiase. He said, you look like a demigod. You will clearly take any job. You're Eddie Murphy your whole life. You pocket watch, because in life, Eddie Murphy was watching the pocket. Silly string, rum dying, grenadine. Hollow had some moments in his second round, but then there were some dry spots included, and then it was just the fact that the crowd was just not receiving his material well uh rum nitty comes out in his second round hollow head expand on impact all the don chit chat will have you buried out in dallas with don chit chat uh pop out dislocation bennett out of place i'm trying to smoke healthy like a vegan pack uh he said uh shalom and in lom put 40 more and then and then on like the old hollow and then i just started to realize that Rum Nitty's material was very short prepped because there was a lot of telegraphed punches in there and it seemed very short prep. And then Rum Nitty went online and said he wrote the material in six days. It it sounded like it was written in six days. I'm not even going like I'm not even gonna hold you. Like it sounded like it was written in six days. Uh hollow stir, I don't have I just after when I seen where this battle was going after the second round, I just stopped writing notes. I was like, what the fuck? I'm not about to put my effort into this battle is not going where well, what are we doing here? Like why why am I I'm not I got nothing for you. Um salute to Hollow through getting through his all through all of his material. Rum Nitty third round, I do remember he had some fire punches in his third. He had the Mastodon line. He had the uh, ran through runs and OGs like Shikari Richardson. I remember that line. Uh, his third, he had he had the punches. Like the punch power was in the third. Um, he started getting dope reactions. Um, overall, like I said, this battle to me, for what it probably was supposed to be, it wasn't. Uh, I, I definitely got I got Rum Nitty winning one zero. I mean, y'all could chop up and decipher the first and second how y'all want. But it's just maybe I maybe I gotta watch it again. I don't know. Maybe I expected more. I don't. I, I, I like you keep hearing me say I don't know because I don't know. I don't know what I watched. Um, you know, it was two styles that was like this is why I thought this battle. I said it when they first announced that it should have happened on Summer Madness. Maybe it should have happened in front of a big crowd. Who knows? But where it happened at, it should have happened probably in a neutral location because you know it. It, it did not benefit Hollow at all. I don't think anybody was there to give Hollow any reaction. And the only person who did give him some reaction, somebody called that person out and said, the person, that, that dude in the blue shirt wanted him to win so bad. I was like, damn. It's like, oh, when they started doing that? You know what I'm saying? So he really wasn't getting no reaction. Um, Rum Nitty wins off of six days prep material. I thought that uh, it was a battle that he wanted a lot. And he was trying to go and try to smoke Hollow and really like, really 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 do them dirty but that i don't nobody died don't let nobody tell you if you didn't watch the battle don't let nobody tell you that nobody died it's a 2-1 either way and i'll give it to nitty one like he, like for real for real like like all the bullshit i said i had nitty one on the battles are 2-1 either way and you could i, I edged the battle the nitty I'm, that's all i'm gonna say as i edged it to him because nobody was nobody was phenomenal like chess versus kid chaos is like the battle of the night. Rumney and them fall somewhere towards the bottom of the night. And I'm gone.
Rum Nitty has jumped on my personal list. Number one. Okay? Hands down. We could debate this all day. Because the guys that were in my top five, Rum Nitty has beaten. Not all of them. But when the opportunity presented itself, there's a couple battles we could talk about. But that's still that's still not besides still besides the point. Rum Nitty versus Hollow the Dom. Rum Nitty, you need to sit the hell down. You need to sit down. You know why you need to sit down? Because you know what you just did. You just killed a killer. You killed somebody that they considered a goat. Not they, me. I and them. They are they that I said that that's what they did. And you, you beat up the baddest bully in the junkyard. In the playground or whatever. Rum Nitty. You did that. And for that... You got you you tied in a tournament and then right after that you got a goat. You need to chill. You know why? Them niggas need to call for you. They need to come and ask for you. Whoever they looking for, they looking for you. Because Rum Nitty clearly beat Hollow the Don. I'm gonna explain the first round, and then after that. That's all we got from here. Let me tell y'all what I loved about Hollow in that first round. Hollow had too many bars. Hollow was going in and out. He had, he literally could pick an angle, play with the angle, then jump out of it, give a nice little line. Hollow's haymakers aren't the biggest haymakers in the world, but the fact that they be so witty, and it's like, damn, and it's, good, and it's how he does it. He gets loopy. He got loopy in that first round. I don't have no notes. I don't have no bars. Because I wanted to watch this battle as a fan. Because I am a fan of both of them. And let me tell you something. In that first round, I caught the glimpse hollow. I caught that shimmering light. You were shooting. You was firing. But Rum Nitty had to rap. And when Rum Nitty raps, he makes sure that there's no room for error. You can't slip up. You can't blip up. You can't do none of that. Did Hollow slip and blip? No. No, 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 no. No, no that's not what happened. That's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. It's just that Rum Nitty was literally Rum fucking Nitty. I don't know what else to explain to y'all other than Rum Nitty was Rum Nitty. And he literally had bars. He barred and punched. That second round from Rum Nitty, there was no debating. There is no debating that second round from Rum Nitty. I could play around the debate with y'all in the first round because that's why I like Hollow in the first round. Y'all might be saying Rum 30. Somebody was in the crowd screaming Rum 30 and, and, and they might not be wrong. But I'm not going to say that it's a full 30, but I'm going to say it's a clear win for Rum Nitty. Second round and the third. You know what happened in the third round? Hollow just stopped. Hello, Embo. Excuse, excuse me, Hollow. You still had more left on the plate, sir. You still There was still food left there. You There was still chicken left on the bone. There was still skin on the bone. You, you took a bite. You literally took a bite. You took a fat. You took a fat bite. That's what you took. You took the. I'ma get the palm of the honey, the uh, the the garlic palm wings, all flats, and you just took a bite. You nah, man. Not no, 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 no. That main event wasn't a big letdown. Cause like I said, the first round y'all was y'all was gunning for each other. I liked it. I liked the, even the vet move Hollow did when Rum Nitty just kept saying he was going to wrap circles around. He was wrapping around, kept wrapping around Hollow to the one point Hollow just backed up and was like, okay, we're not going to do that. No more. We're not doing that. We're not doing that no more. But other than that, other than that, Hollow just stopped. Like, why did you just stop? Like, I don't understand that. Rum Nitty is not a battle rapper that you just stop me around because you feel like you just won. No. You need to clearly beat Rum Nitty. And that does not happen. You know the people that are in my top five? That one guy 
that that's above you right now, that's above you right now, you lost him. Keisha. What are we talking about, bro? You out here goat chasing, and I'm with all of that. I'm with all of that. You still gonna have to chill, though. You gonna have to chill, because that type of performance, it would have been worse if you'd have had more time. It would have been way worse if you'd have had more time. I swear it would have been. I'm telling y'all this because y'all watch this just as much as I watch this. And I'm a big fan of both of them. So I'm being critical of both of them. That main event wasn't a letdown, but it got to the letdown in that third round because Nitty just kept... We gonna dive back into the bars because it's one of the biggest battles of the year. It was one of those highly anticipated battles of the year. So we gonna talk about it. We gonna run that into the ground. But me personally, as a fan of both of them, I'm a little disappointed in the lacklusterness that fell off from the, like the third. The third round could have just been the third round could have been way more debatable than it than it how clear it was. I'm just saying, and, and that's and that's just me speaking as openly as possible. But I'm just telling y'all. Hello, that first round, you had it. Rum Nitty, if you have time, if you get three weeks, four weeks, a month, two months, or just some chill time, or you just at home, my God, what, what could Lux do? Hmm? Would you sit down for Lux? Would you sit down for Mook? Because those are the only cats that I want to see you up against, Rum. It ain't nobody else out here. It, you battled one of the other top niggas, and now both of y'all are sharing the top spot. There is nothing left for you, Nitty. Nothing left for you but goats and gods. I don't want to see you unless it's a summer madness or no. Um, or, or something in the West Coast. I mean, me personally, I do kind of want to see you a lot more. But I'm, you get the point that I'm trying to drive. Hello. You slipping, baby. You you, you said you was going to get loopy. You got wild loopy in the first. Second and the third, it wasn't, it wasn't no loopy. It was the humpback. It was the, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ever been to, to the, one of the Six Flags? They got the nitro ride. It don't go loopy loop. It's the best ride in the whole park. It don't go loopy loop. But it was, it was the humps. You was doing all of that in the first. I feel like you just gave us all of it in the first. No, I've already went too far. I'm just saying, cause you know, like you know, like you know, you a fan and you don't want to criticize because you a fan, but yet you can tell people how mad you is because you a fan. Sit your ass down, bro. Yeah. Ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Rest in peace, King Nip. Stay dangerous, cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. Better keep you a toaster. Keep you a toaster. With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes. Go viral to get killed later on that night. It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype. For them views, you really just pay with your life. All the real killers I know, they don't be online. And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie. I ride around me and Hamela and 